All right, how do we not get smushed more effectively? You knew right away you're in for a bad time. See, like, we actually have some pretty decent uh, Mexican fare out here. Mission Cantina is a, a nice place we have near me. In the demo, it ends by getting squished and they actually use it for the boss. Nice. Would I like some advice? Yes, I would love advice. Help me out. I only have my 1300 upgrade material right now, but I'll spend it on whatever I need. Do, 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 do. Alright, maybe we need to grab the hook and the turbines. There are two more movement options, hook and turbine. Addicts all fight each other. Ah, I'm taking it, Jess, you might. You might also play a lot of Noida like I do. They're very helpful. All right. Let's grab Hook for now. Let's try again. As do I. <laughs> It's true, Kang, it's true. What, another thing I really enjoy is that uh, friggin' 7-Eleven in Japan is also, like, a bank, which is really neat. Like, if you're ever in Japan, you need to get your money, like, American money, but as Japanese currency, go to 7-Eleven. Their ATMs will work for you. Yes, I've played a lot of Noida. <laughs> I haven't gotten all the achievements. Like, I still have to make the two sons kiss. But that's that's such a long, specific kind of run that I haven't just... I haven't had the will yet. I've tried a couple of times, but, like, wrangling those sons is hard. They have minds of their own. And they love to touch you. When they touch you, you die. Oh, I have 100% of the, like, Steam achievements, for sure. The, uh, achievements are the tree achievements. Why don't thank you for gifting a sub to an actual goblin. I'm coming, I'm coming, hold on, hold on. Uh, so far today, we have played Dome Keeper. Coincidentally, I didn't mean to start today with Dome Keeper. I thought I was going to start today's stream with Rift Wizard. But Dome Keeper had a surprise update with Drillbert mode. So I had to play, <laughs> had to play some Dome Keeper. And you know what? I'm kind of glad I did because it's clearly a, an inspiration for this game. And having that comparison point is helpful for talking about it. You thought that you thought it was April? I was people were making that joke like Chris. Are you sure it's real? Maybe they're just trolling you, but it was real. I, unlo I unlocked it. It's real. I can confirm it. If you want, if you want to know, I can tell you how to unlock it. Lightweight barrel, more rotation speed for gun. And I definitely figured it out on my own and didn't have someone in chat tell me. <laughs> All right. So what you want to do is you want to play Dome Keeper as normal. But, if you get the option to take Drillbert, take Drillbert. You need to get Drillbert as an upgrade. And once you have Drillbert, dig around. Eventually, you're going to find a giant Mama Drillbert. Feed the Mama Drillbert a snack. One of, one of the things you could feed your Drillberts. <coughs> and that will unlock <coughs> Drillbert mode. Drillbert is love, Drillbert is life. It's very neato. You could have unlimited Drillberts. We all love Drillbert here. You know? Might as well stay attached to my robot. That sound that plays, woom woom, that's from Star... Starcraft, I know it. 
I remember that sound from StarCraft. Can't fool me. It looks like we could activate our hook by pressing maybe down on the D-pad. <laughs> ah, you played on keyboard. See, I'm playing with a controller. Because I figure, like, well, it has controller support. I'd like to like to give it a try. But it doesn't tell me what buttons do sometimes. Like, uh, when you get the ability to do a dash with the shift button. I don't know what the equivalent is of controller. I don't think it exists. I don't think you can actually use that ability on the controller at the moment. Need additional pylons. Hello? Twenty drilling efficiency, that's what we like to see. Uh, L3 doesn't do it, R3? If we get it again, I'll try again. It might have been like, maybe I was missing the situational moment where I need to press it. Come with me, you little balls. <laughs> Just shove it in the robot. What upgrades do I typically go for? In this game, I'm still very new. Like, uh, I've barely gotten very deep into any of the tree. And if you're talking about Dome Keeper, I love the lift. The elevator is like my favorite thing. I love passively being able to do stuff in one of these games. Whoops, I didn't mean to press that button. Yeah, down on the D-pad. Oh, we change it to the button we press. I see. We assign it to right bumper. Ever so slowly. There we go. Drillbert is an obvious take, and so is Lift. Teleporter disappoints me. I don't like teleport. Moving during combat. Definitely... Starting to notice that. For like early waves, I could just stay attached to the wall without any problem, but one million percent for the uh, boss and later, you gotta be moving around. <coughs> if you ain't moving, you ain't winning. Aw, oh, hello. Oh my god, I swear to god, I tried to vacuum those up before and it didn't work. Day 53. I cracked the starting hammer. I cracked and started hammering the wall with my pickaxe. As a result, the pickaxe got stuck in the water hole. Try as I might, I couldn't put it out. But at least the knocking stopped. Hey, that was the next day. We got we got a continuation. Do do do. Delicious chicken. Mm -hmm. 27, you say. And let's get a little bit more movement speed in the mines. You went for those little guys? No! It was nice to meet you too. And thanks again for that raid. What kind of doggos you got? Uh, you can tell me when you get back from walking the doggos. But I love doggos. 
Back home in New York with my family, we have a pug and a chocolate lab. Chihuahua named Rocky and a Jack Russell Terrier. That sounds adorable. <laughs> and tequila. Good names. Sounds like we'll get along just fine. Yeah, the faster you dig, the better. Those are always my favorite. The overdrive! Accelerate by pressing shift. It's time to press all the buttons again. Alright, we're in the mine. L3, nothing. R3, nothing. Bumper, nothing. Bumper, nothing. Trigger, obviously. Uh, up, down. It's not mapped. It is 1 million percent an unmapped button. So we can only use that with the keyboard. <laughs> now for those of you watching, just a reminder, this game not out yet, so I imagine that's the kind of thing that by the time this game is released, you could probably expect that to work as intended. Probably end up being a mapped button by then. Yeah, it comes out in just a few days, but all the same with how development goes, you know. It's probably already updated, but, like, we have an earlier build. Guess I'm here now. Ooh, we're in Greenland now. Can we find some green resources? This has like little natural caves that have them. The difficulty is, in fact, tied by how far down we go, in which case it might be a mistake to be down here this early. Next time you're in New York, go to Daiso, the, the Japanese market in uh, New York. I think that's what it's called, right? I haven't been there in quite a while. I think the last time I was there was like 2014, I want to say. Japanese Dollar Tree, basically. I'm pretty sure that's what I was in. I am from New York, but I live in Massachusetts. Like, I was born in New York. Went to college in Massachusetts, ended up staying in Massachusetts. We crushed him by doing that. That is awesome. All right, that is kind of an attack, I guess. Yeah, next time I'm visiting family in New York. That would require me to ride the dreaded L-I-double-R, though. No one likes riding the L-I-double-R. Dark and gritty remake of Dig Dug. <laughs> Easy, stay in flushing. Stay in flushing? I don't have money. <laughs> Although I could stay in Astoria. I could, like, I could stay with my grandma. And then I don't have to <laughs> ride the fucking LAWR. My grandma lives in Astoria. Get over here, you.
<laughs> Grandma streams. No, they, they barely have a functional computer. You can let me use your computer. I'm coming, I'm coming, hold on. What? Oh, uh, it's so cool. Alright, I, I... This game is a little slow to start. But like, as you unlock stuff, it definitely gets a lot more exciting. I love that you can crush them by using that hook. Just swing over and slam right on down. Whap or wop? I tend to say whap. I often have Boosh in my head, but that's because that's because a real civil engineer. That's his fault. But blam and whap are the two sounds I like to scream out loud usually. Bamf, yeah. That's the sound Nightcrawler makes. I'm just a huge fan of the song WAP is all. Well, it looks like we're done here. You know what? Gotta fully clear this place out. It's snicked. It's a very specific sound effect. Just live in there. It looks peaceful. Who does it, Mona? Who does it? I can think of a couple of people, actually. What's that horrible pundit's name again? And they have a lot of bullets here. You know, I could probably upgrade. There we go. <clears throat> it's a little repair work. The sound John Dacre makes when the moon hits his eye. <laughs> that is one of my favorite, favorite YouTube videos of all time. Oh my god, he walks out with such confidence that he realizes he doesn't know how to sing either of the two songs. It's so good. It's so good. It is Wall, <laughs> wall World. You almost got me to say Wall Keeper, you tricky bastards. Yeah, I just rotated the whole monitor, you know. Just for poops and ha-has. <laughs> Where's Waldo? 
Where's Wall, though? Ooh, this might be one of those pretty small ones that has an upgrade. That'd be nice. <laughs> you watched the whale today? What were your thoughts? I could have somewhat mixed feelings on Darren Aronofsky's stuff. Slow but good. Overall, I like Aronofsky's things. But he can get really... <laughs> He really gets into suffering. Like, the suffering of people is his favorite thing. Yeah, if we aim in the middle, we can hit two. Oh god, I gotta go! Oh boy. To suffer is the human condition. To linger on suffering in a movie in a fetishistic way is a little bit different, though. Disconnect. Engage hook. Screw you. <laughs> Just land on him. Got a minute and a half before the next thing, next attempt at boss. <laughs> oh, and it's eighteen two. Well, I haven't gotten metal for a while, huh? Hello. Well, that's, that's nice. I don't know what this stuff is, but we got a bunch of it now. Hi, what's your deal? The Leviathans. This is, of course, just a myth. Uh, nonsense. Nothing more than the ravings of tipsy miners. How could even one creature of this size exist on the wall and not fall off? Sounds like someone died because they sealed themselves in while trying to run away from a leviathan! Suck his bones up. Alright, we have like mere seconds before the next boss fight. Oh no, Chris's weakness is leviathan! Leviathan is a boss in Noida, yes. And we have to come back. All right. Oh. Everyone's everyone's favorite joke. What? We've killed a live on stream. Thank you very much. Ooh-wee. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be out of range of the... Yeah, we got stepped up. I mean, why not just pump it all in there? Oh, what's this? We have a different type of resource. Little little four up there. I don't know what that is. We don't have whatever these things are, though. Did you see the humorous rewrite of the Marvel Civil War arc where Wolverine says "snicked bub," but just only "snicked bub" his only dialogue? I have not seen that, but that sounds very good. 
Huh. I can't upgrade my guns anymore. So what we have is what we're sticking with, I suppose. Oh, that still got us and did damage, huh? Right bumper is how we use our missile and our uh, hook. Cooldown needs to be a lot faster on our, uh... Oh, look at that. There's a whole overdrive menu. But we don't know. We can't use overdrive anyway. You say that, but like I need to focus on killing the things on the wall, otherwise I can't move. And we're getting stepped on a lot. Oh fuck. Well. <laughs> Like, you're talking about the two little purple things up there, right? That's what you're talking about? The eye up there? All right, if we can afford the go up dash, I think we'll be okay. Because then we'll have two ways to move. Make a quick dash up the wall. I think this is what we need right here. Spider durability. I mean, going faster would also be nice, but it's very, exp very expensive. There we go. All right, now we can dash up and we can go down. We have the two ways. We <laughs> two ways we can dodge being stepped on by a giant tentacle foot. I would really like to see what's past this boss. Let's go, buddy. The little wizard looking guy, you think he was a little Noida reference? I can see that. curious now uh, if we had another menu for the shotgun when we had that. Just make a quick way up. Come along. Just gotta juggle balls for a little while. It's easy to do. And now I'm ready for wave one. Let's go. There we go. Now we can go up. We can go down. We got all three. All two. All two directions. Boom! <laughs> Yep, let's just move on to the next one. Already walking, why not? I feel like this is going to be, like, the thing, the question I need to ask myself when I play this game is... Is my goal to fully explore every one of these little caves, or is my goal to... Get as much as I can out of each one and then, like, move on when we have to defend? Because we want to move while we're, uh, being attacked. 
Day 52. The knocking's back, and now it's constant and sort of more insistent. My head is pounding, and I can hear some words through the knocking. Whatever, crazy. No, why? There we go. Like, fully exploring is probably good, because then we're more likely to find... Secrets. <clears throat> Sir, your car's extended warranty! Or my personal favorite, there's a warrant for your arrest in a state you've never been to before. Call this number to avoid being arrested. <laughs> I get that every once in a while. And of course, like, once the student loan forgiveness talks were happening, it's like, hey, whoa, you don't want to miss out on student loan forgiveness. You can trust us. We're definitely the what we're talking what's being talked about on the news right now. There are so many phone scams. The phone is worthless now. They've ruined the phone. Think fast. <laughs> That's pretty neat. What is a phone even? A miserable pile of secrets, but enough talk. Have at you. Who was Phone? Dear Mr. Phone, where's Mrs. Phone? Keep going. We're gonna have to turn around it sooner or later anyway. Why was phone? You wouldn't phone a car, would you? Well, as much as I would love to juggle these balls. I'm gonna have to just carry this one big ball out of here. Show off your color guard skills. <laughs> Never stop spinning! Alright, what we get? You found a drone! A drone that auto-targets enemies. Appears next to that's 100 percent what I wanted to hear. I have no I haven't seen that yet, but that's my favorite. Alright, drone, let's defend our, our home. All right, drone, I'll take you up, up to you take down. Good work, drone. What I say, come on, aim the right way. Obviously, we would all download a car if given the opportunity. I mean, come on. Yeah, this drone is going to see us through. Hoover up some more goodies. I download cars all the time for work. <laughs> Joe, you should 3D print a whole car. Alright, I'm starting to think we're gonna have a nice a nice new secret here. It's a long hallway, hard to dig rock. Yeah, boy! Look at that beautiful, beautiful vista. With some nice parallax scrolling in the background. You found a stake thrower. Fires stakes in ballistic trajectory. Power of the shot depends on how long you hold the fire button. More detailed than any video game. I don't know, have you seen beam.ng.drive? I feel like nothing can compare to that. Oh, 
Ah, uh, I dropped one of the balls. I can hear the drone already doing his job out there. It's like, wait, if I go straight up with this, would it do what I want? And the answer is an emphatic yes. Out of this world for Sega Genesis. Interesting. Every single whale joint and every cable. Wow, that sounds way more detailed. Never mind. I mean, Beam NG Drive is a very fun, fun sandbox. And it is very detailed, but probably not that detailed. I really should pick that game up one day. Oh yeah, we should check and see if we have upgrade sections for the state gun now. I would assume so. gotten any upgrades yet. Me oh my. I need one more one more blue. Alright, I'm coming. Beam NG for wheel game. Oh I don't have Beam NG. I was just saying like I should really pick that game up one day. It's been on my like I should get this list for a hundred years. But we can have a lot of fun with that one. It's just like, would you like to just obliterate a car in high detail? Just like hucking around for funsies? Obviously the answer is yes. Yes, stake throwers got upgrades. More damage, more draw speed, heavy duty flywheel. I was hoping for some like exciting like uh, cable cable stake. Or something like, uh, something more than just damage and speed, but... Still nice to be able to upgrade it. I squished them into the cave. Have fun with this. It could be a wheel game, but it might also just be one of those things that every once in a while it's like, hey, do we want to have fun doing X? We'll pop in and just have fun. Like, it's not really a game with, like, a story or even, even goals, really. It's just a fucking with cars kind of thing. Have you ever seen that game before, uh, Mario? It's like a lot of soft body physics, so you can just like slam cars together. It's really fun. One of my favorite YouTube shows of all time used that game, and then we found out one of the people that made it was unfortunately a sex pest. The other guy who did it was great, and still is good. Uh oh. 
Keep us safe, drone. I'm coming. I think the steak gun might be nice for, like, damaging the boss. I can't remember his name anymore. It was like a joint venture between, uh, Griffin McElroy, who's it's one of my favorite personalities, and other person whose name I don't remember right now. But other person's the one who was uh, making making weird DMs to folks and Twitter and stuff. I think that third bar might be overdrive, like a, an energy bar for it. Come on, juggle, juggle the balls. Got to juggle the balls. Don't stop juggling these balls. There we go. I should probably go up to that other cave we were in before. And finish up all the greens up there. Greens are pretty nice. Be able to heal seems, uh, useful, perhaps. Just a thought. No, I thought I had my missile selected! No! I got some practice, but I got some practice. Hey, 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 come on. Some of us are trying to go up. We should probably upgrade gun stuff here. Less spread is helpful. More damage on stake is probably good. Drone, you can handle the rest, right? Yeah, we definitely want to upgrade drone. Mystic Otter. <laughs> I love it. A lot of good names today. Oh, so hard to dig up here. Just make sure there's nothing in there. All right. Just to really round out the walls, make sure we're not missing any secrets. Out my way. Drop off my goodies here. Seven, twelve, eight. We can heal ourselves four times right now. That's pretty nice. I really hope, like, we don't have an enemy wave when the boss shows up. It was much nicer to not have a wave while the boss was there last time. 
made life a little bit easier. I'm coming, I'm coming, hold on. Just want to check this real fast, all right. The drone's probably doing fine. Uh, we barely even need to be out there, I imagine. All right, it's time to move on. Head to greener pastures. Oh, uh, watch out, the stick's coming back. Ah, uh, you should have listened. Three minutes and 20, all right. Like, that looks like a city on the wall. Why are the monsters attacking that? Why are they coming after me over here? I'm just one small spider. In a big messed up world. Surely they could go mess up with someone else's stone. Mess up someone else's spider. I'm sorry. But the wave timer, we're not ready for another wave. What's going on? I guess there's just like areas that might end up being populated with enemies. Should I be going up again? No, there's something to dig. But we got a wave already. All right, drone, what, what are we fighting up here? And a wave is starting, okay, well. Drone, you keep shooting. I'm gonna launch another stake up because this is a handy way to clear the wall. All right, we're good. Wave over. Less spread on the drone? Yeah, I'm thinking like that was a depth thing like we went far enough down that we encountered that I need so much more blue there we go that's what I'm looking for It's a pretty small one, though. Hoping for a somewhat more substantial cave. I guess there's another one right below us, though. Twenty-seven seconds. We're gonna have a wave with the boss. No way we don't. They're gonna line up perfectly. What? Oh no, oh God, we wanna go outside right now. Oh, shitty, shitty gumdrops. No, 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 no. God damn it. Woo. Let's 
A little greed, a little greed on my end, yes. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on now, hold on. Okay. Yeah, the things that allow us to dodge the very damaging attack. Unfortunately, load, they reload very... S Why did I... Oh, we're taking that right on. Yeah, nope. <laughs> right to forehead. My stake launcher can't even reach. Never mind. I can't avoid it. Like, I need to upgrade our speed if we're going to avoid that. Well, we're dead. God. All right, having two different dodges is still not enough. It's just not enough. Like we need the reload on those to go a lot faster. Or we just need to move faster in general. Spider speed, 30% more. That might be what we need so maybe we just we do another run we'll get enough to upgrade that then we can get out of the way cooldown is 80 seconds at the moment good lord no next level would be 80 seconds bigger pack like a bigger pack will let us bring more stuff back but ultimately we're still going to hit the same wall and that wall is the boss like we need we need to focus on tools explicitly for getting past that boss. And I feel like that is right here. Just if we were a little bit faster, we could walk out of that damn range. And then we could save the hook and the uh, jet burst for when we are dealing with enemies on either end of us, because that lets us just go right through them. So those will be like emergency get out of dodges. And then we have our just walk out of the way solution. So one more run should get us the money we need to get that upgrade, and then the run after that, in theory, will be enough for us to get around the boss of Stompies. And if not, <laughs> then oh well. But two more runs, I think, is uh, where I'm at. After that, I think I'm ready to move on to something else. Mostly, like, I've been wanting to play more Resident Evil 4. <laughs> it's waiting for me. I do like this one. I feel like this is a little bit slow to start. Like, it takes a while before you're unlocking upgrades that make it feel like you have a decent power level. I might... If I if I were in the developer's, like, room with them, uh, my main suggestion would be, like, maybe we lower the cost of some of these uh, upgrades. And, like, that might make it so the game is over sooner, but I never think that's necessarily a bad thing. But it definitely feels like the first, like, four, five, maybe even six runs are just... They're just, uh, obligatory... Dying for the sake of upgrading, you know? I'm sure that's probably happened more than- more than just two- two times. It's very possible. Like I said, this is uh, an early version. It's a press release. There's a very real chance that a lot of these, uh, a lot of these things we're talking about are already changed. Wouldn't be surprised. The missile is something I upgraded with meta money. Yeah. It's a permanent upgrade, as opposed to, like, the spear launch we just got, which was a uh, in-the-level upgrade. And again, I like that exploration is a bigger factor. Like, we are looking for stuff to make us stronger. But I do feel like the boss shouldn't be quite a... quite as hard a wall as it is right now, where I really don't think we have a chance at it unless we have these upgrades. 
Because, like, I, there's no way you can move out of the way of the stomps unless you have these upgrades. Unless I'm missing something very fundamental, which I wouldn't put it past me. God, we're gonna do it. We're gonna juggle all this stuff. Ah, uh, ball got stuck in there. That's the thing, like... The, the flow of a game is important, so like, you do want to think about factors like that. Replicators allow the spider to build a variety of structures. These turrets attack enemies automatically and require no maintenance. Oh. And how do we do that? Must be connected to a mine that has no structures yet. Press left trigger. Turret replicator. Interesting. So is that a turret that stays on my spider or is it attached to the mine? It's a question we'll have to find the answer out to very soon. Ten blue's a little pricey, so if it's attached to the mine, I'll be very sad. But yeah, like your your game, your gameplay loop. You want the player to feel like they're usually improving in some way, either through unlocks or through learning mechanics and getting better at the game. But the speed at which those things happen is, uh, is hard. Uh, it, it's a difficult part of game design. That's why you usually see an upgrade pa in, in game patches, uh, patch notes. Like, change the price of XYZ is a very common one. Just a slight adjustments for those kind of things. Oh, we already got a wave coming. This seems like a pretty big mine. I'll probably keep going with this one rather than moving. I mean, it sounds like the turret's doing work out here. So you get a slight value out of just mining. It certainly is nice to have something that's like passively doing some work for us outside. That way, if I'm a little delayed, at least we're not defenseless. There we go, more blue. Haven't really taken any upgrades yet. Yeah, the drone is like a stationary thing that's rotating, so it's able to instantly be aiming at whatever it needs to. Unlike us, where we have a very slow rotation. Which we will upgrade, it will be faster eventually. But right now, it's very slow. Runs where you find the speed upgrade early are very nice, and runs where you don't, like this one, are like, oh man, I'm so slow. Well, I hope our drone's ready to fight because I have a walk. Got quite a journey ahead of me. Good work, drone. It is doing good work. Alright, turret replicator. Minus 20% the cost of every turret. It's not bad. It does require a special upgrade item that we do not have. Machine gun. The fire rate goes up for 10. 
Hold on, can we? I'm not allowed to open the, the build menu right now. All right. <laughs> Let's grab that. And then grab these for me. Back into this very big mine. A speed up for me may have been more important. Because we got a big one here. It takes a little while. I think we can only build one per, like, mine we find. So we are kind of incentivized to move now. Just so we can have more turret. But once we're cleared this place out, we'll do that. It looks like we're at the bottom. I don't think there's much more after this. So we'll just juggle all these balls back with us. Yep, all right, we're good. Come along, come along. One trip with the grocery bags all over again. Come on. I ain't making multiple trips. Let's go. No, it is in fact attached there. Oh, that's a bummer. And we can't go up? No, there's enemies there. Okay, it's not it's not that our thing was in the way. For a second I thought our turret was making it so we couldn't move. Alright, I'm a little sad that it's attached to the wall, because we are going on a journey. Like we're going far down in the ends. Having a limit of five is like, well, hope you didn't waste them all in the upper areas. Hope you saved them for down here. When we're getting close to, like, the boss timer, I think our best, uh, best bet is going to be something like find two or three very close together dig points and just build up defenses. Because there's this possibility that maybe with enough turrets, upgraded turrets, maybe, maybe we might be able to outdamage the boss before it stomps us to death. But like, that's our big problem is we just, we die before we're able to do enough damage. Isn't that a deep and insightful thing to say? We lose because we die before we win. It's the kind of insightful commentary you could expect here at Shake the Box. Mega Elite Gamers. Whoa, what was all that flying past me? That's my turret shooting. Hey, good work, turret. I mean, if they could shoot from anywhere, then it's okay. But I imagine once we're like a certain distance, it will be ineffectual. Please be the speed upgrade for drill. 30% gun rotation. I mean, I can't be that angry, but like, it's kind of hoping to dig faster. That is, like, easily the best early game thing to find. Alright, let's get out of here. This one's done. 
Suck this one dry. No reason to stick around. I could build another turret there, but again, I feel like we want to save those for a little bit more boss time area. More damage from every shot. Well, you know what? For me, make it so I could dig a lot faster. That's step one. Now we gotta get 10 blues so we can build another turret whenever we want. I don't care for, like, having them fly past my vacuum. When my vacuum's empty, it should really just go in the vacuum. It's like a mean joke. Alright, will my turret be able to reach? We've moved a little bit further down. It's looking like no, unfortunately. It's a little disappointing. <coughs> Just go ahead and stop on those guys. these Zerg overlords out of here. Come on, get me out. <coughs> if a tree dies in the wood, does it make any sound? Is that the question we're asking? But we're the tree. We're looking to have in meta money in the upper, in the upper right. We want that bad boy to have 3,000. Come on, long hallway. I want a new gun. Do sounds exist when we don't hear 3,500? Oh, man. It might have been 3,000, but it could be 35. My memory for numbers is bad. Just one trip, goddammit, one trip. <laughs> Here's the real challenge. minutes. Get out of here. We went over it? No. I wanted to squish it. Okay, four minutes remain. I might build one here. I don't know, like, if the next mine is a big one, we'll probably be still there. We'll make that decision as we're leaving, I think. Just make it more efficient for me to dig. No, 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 attach the wall. Let's go. I want to have 20 blue just ready for me. That way, if we want to make two turrets, we can. Because it is almost boss o'clock. This has been a very different run because, like, we've barely left the starting area. 
but there have been a lot of like very resource intensive mines nearby. Nineteen. Let's get one more. I might still explore this mine because again, it probably. Not probably. It might. It might have a secret in the back. It's a long one, and those usually have one. We got a wave now. Let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Just every time, I swear that missile is designed to make me feel angry. But you know it'd be fun if we went in the direction that Chris is already working on, rendering his efforts meaningless. Oh, this is an aggressive wave. <laughs> My damage is piddly. Two minutes. All right, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Let's go, let's go. Come on, meta money. Need more of you. Hello there. So we want to see one of these bad boys. All right, a minute left. I feel like yeah, it might be time to like start building turrets in anticipation of the boss. I don't have anything to heal with. A barrage mortar. There we go. Plasma mines will show up. Build a turret here. And then we'll try and be in a position where we have multiple turrets on the boss. I thought there was one right here. Okay, it's right here. I don't think the turret up there is doing anything at the moment. Disconnects. I would want to be, like, in between these two turrets. That way they're both shooting. There we go. Yeah, right here is where we're going to have our boss fight. We have less health. We have no heals. But at least we have this going for us. Doesn't seem like we can. Come on. Come on, missile, go. Yes. Oh, my God. We get to find out what happens after that now. 
Is the wave over? Am I allowed to like do stuff now? I'll let my turrets handle it. They'll be fine. It seems like we can only do one per mine. Because I can't even bring up the build menu. Oh, blobby! But a double turret strategy worked out for us. I kind of want to go back up because... That one big mine that we found, the, uh, the mine upgrade. It still had some secrets for me. It, it was, it was going pretty far back. It might have a tunnel. I don't know if... I don't know if you could have both a tunnel and one of those orb upgrades in the same mine, but only one way to find out. But this is too important to pass up. We need some healing. We, we gotta hurl ourselves into this, this mine right now. Ah, oh, that, that feels nice. That feels good. Feels a lot better now. Maybe later on we could do multiple types of turrets, but like maybe this particular upgrade is just one per mine. I'll try and access the build menu again when we're out of here. It was easy when I was on a new mine, and even the thing said I can only build it on a mine that doesn't already have a construction. So maybe these particular turrets are one per. Or again, there could be like an upgrade or an unlock we don't have that will change that. I should go up. We have mines for down right now. You know what? Gets to step and we got these self-destruct jellyfish. They do a lot of damage. We don't want them touching me. as efficient as it could possibly be for getting back into this <laughs> already docking with the wall done. Yeah, I'm gonna go back up to that one we were in before. <laughs> Just to start the process of moving a little faster. This is a big guy. Yeah, we're almost there. And, and now I don't even care because, like, we got past that, that boss. Now I'm feeling good. I'm like, wow, well, whatever. I only wanted that speed upgrade to get past the boss. Been listening to it while you work? Isn't it a good soundtrack? I love the Nitro Kid soundtrack. Glad you like it, Morphlin. It brings me joy when my recommendations make people happy. Right now, my current, like, high is... I get comments occasionally where people are like, your guide on how to win Rift Wizard while drunk got me my first win. I'm like, yeah, that makes me feel good. Yeah, we got new enemy types now. We definitely don't want to be lollygagging in the, uh, the mine now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go! 
scary out here. And it takes a long time to get from the back to the front. I'm trying to keep my eye on the meter. Yes, long hallway, I knew it! I knew it. Yes! What'd we get? A bomb thrower fires a large bomb at a ballistic trajectory with massive damage and area of effect. It's a very cool house, I agree. I like finding that because it's very pretty. Alright, we gotta go. And we're done with this mine now. We can start working our way down again. We gotta get one more green so we can heal at least one time. I dig this game's soundtrack, too. This is a good soundtrack. Well, I'm glad it went back up. I'm gonna launch my missile literally the second I'm allowed to. blowing up on down there. Now that's a gun. Yeah, there's definitely like you reached a certain depth and then we have a wave. Heal. Uh, it's gonna end up being a double wave because of this. I'm such a bastard. I kind of wish this also had the aiming line that came with the spear gun. Come on, we gotta get one green, please. We are suffering right now. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Not gameplay-wise whatsoever, <laughs> but artwork style a little bit is, is Tower Climb. Like, the idea of just this huge, endless expanse going up and down. Whoop, wrong button. Well, that wasted a good few seconds of our digging time. It's a game I don't think I've ever streamed. Back before EA, like, early access was a thing, and back before... Uh... I don't remember what the other thing I was going to say as I distracted myself. Uh, basically, back before, like, early access was a concept, I... I backed that game. Just, like, gave them money and said, like, I'll take it when it's done. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm wondering when we're gonna get more green gems, because, boy, do we need some. Oh, we gotta go. It's time already.
stuck on right now. Ah, uh, you see, we didn't have any green. We had no hope. A dome game, but sideways? We are, we are short by like 20. Oh, so close to be able to get this. Yeah, that was RNG death for sure, which is a bit of a bummer. Yeah, 13 short. Like, we could upgrade the cooldown on these, but I would really just like to have more overall walkie speed. I think overall walkie speed would be nice. Oh, to a stretch. I have to pee, so I'm gonna BRB.